you know, you your place even fits <laughs> or where, who you are in this whole process. Totally. <laughs> did you feel like at a disadvantage? I mean, I guess there were four of you, but did you feel like at a disadvantage, you know, because it was so much, you know, like a summer house, people that had this history and like even though there were like four newbies, you didn't really know all four of them. I, I kind of expected as a newbie, I guess you could say that, you know, it's not about me. Really, it, but you know, I have something to offer. I have something to bring to the table, and at the end of the day, that's going to be good enough for me. Um, so yeah, I, I wasn't worried about like who is like the boisterous or who's you know the loudest or who's making the most like you know drama. But at the same time, I was like kind of seeing who was who in that the makes house. Sense. Yeah, yeah. It took a couple of days. Now, well, a couple of days is not bad. No, it wasn't. Now, I've done a deep dive into your Instagram, so it seems like, you know, you don't mind a night out with a little tequila. Like, did you – listen, Summer House is notorious for their parties, and I think Winter House kind of, I mean, certainly matched it, if not upped it. We we uh, we were up there. We were definitely yeah. giving a run for their money, for sure. Did you – I mean, did you know what to expect as far as, like, the parties and, like, how these parties really could be? No, I, I had no <laughs> – those were surprisingly more of a shock. Then, like, it brought me back to, like, when my brother was in a fraternity. And, yeah. and, like, it was just, like, a constant party, day in, day out. And I was, like, I had to call my brother after the third day. I was, like, Jerry, like, I, I don't know if I can do this. <laughs> like, yeah. He's, like, it's in your blood. You're fine. Just just more water, more water. Hydrate. It really was. <laughs> I mean, were you just literally, like, okay, I'm hungover in Stowe, Vermont this entire time, like, every day? It, it was a little challenging. But, you know, those hydration packets and, you know... Making sure you had a nice little smoothie or something to keep you regular was important. It's like the hair of the dog, right? It, it is. Works. It is. Actually, unfortunately, it does work better than most. Would I say. have a friend that I go out with, and she, if she goes hard, she literally needs like three, maybe two days to like – it's like the next day she's like, what do you mean you're going out? I'm like, well, that was last night. What does that, <laughs> what does that have to do with tonight? And she, I'm not kidding. Literally, it's a two- to three-day process. I mean, you got to learn to rally. I kind of think so. Oh, in this city, you rally. Yeah. I mean, it is New York City. Amen. So what, okay, let's talk like first impressions. So you go in, you watch a little summer house. So mm -hmm. let's just start with like Kyle and Amanda. What are your first impressions? And I'm going to lump them together. because Absolutely. I mean, yeah. No, I'm like, okay, lovely couple. They've been together, you know, got a little back history. They've been together for years. All right. They've had some little ups and downs. Okay. I'm like, wow, normal couple. <laughs> I was like, okay, they're cool. They're great. And Kyle's really nice, very welcoming. What about like Austin and Craig? Austin, Austin was the first person I think they gave me a hug. But um, yeah, you know, it's so funny because I think their personalities are so fun and like fun loving. So, oh. I mean, it's hard not to just love them and laugh. Didn't with you them. just do something? Weren't you just at their pillow talk? Yes. They were just in New York. Listen, I was I... so proud of their, you know, going to the town hall or town hall theater and doing their podcast live. Like, that was very impressive. I had off to them and I had a great time. I laughed and laughed and laughed. What was the best thing about pillow talk and seeing them live and being part of the show, really? Uh, best part were the audience questions at the end. They really stuck it to them, put them in some tight corners. Um, it was pretty funny. What did people want to know the most? Was it Paige? What's up with Paige? Absolutely. It was Paige and, you know, Austin, how do you feel, like, with everyone hating you? Like, how are you taking it? And he's like... <laughs> right. Like, what am I going to say to that? <laughs> yeah, like, he shouldn't be. But, you know, people right. give him a bad rep. What about, so what were your first impressions of Paige and Sierra? Paige, I was very impressed with her style. I was like, okay, she's really pulling out some some great looks. I'm like, I, I was like, does she model? Oh, my God. I'm like, okay. And I'd seen her on Amazon, and I'd do some work with Amazon as well. So I was like, okay, we're going to be friends. Paige has it. She's got, listen, Paige has it going on, right? Yeah, yeah. And, and then Sierra. Sierra, like I was like, okay, sisters, like you know they they you know they roll together, they're tight, and I'm like, I see the vibes coming from them, and they're definitely showing up. Like these looks are just drop. Listen, Bravo certainly knows how to cast well, att like attractive people. Let's face it. I mean, of course, yourself included, obviously. Thank you, thank you. I'll take a little bit of that, but they look great. 
there are uh, listen i see nothing wrong with either of them yes what about what were your first impressions of lindsay my first impressions of lindsay were absolutely not what is like she's wild she is gonna be like when she came to the house it was like a third or fourth day of partying and like that was when i was like i don't even know about this and she comes in with a fireball and i'm like i don't know if i can do this anymore like so her like came in like a tornado like it was one of those things where i was like kind of bracing myself like i don't know if i can roll with her did you know like i mean i guess having watched summer house but not really like it was just did you know the energy that is Lindsay? i didn't know it was like as much like, no, I didn't see that. I didn't see enough of, like, a show to be like, oh, well, that's Lindsay. That's her vibe. I was like, literally when I watched the show, oh, she's hot. I'm like, that's cool. Were you, because she came a little later. So, I mean, who were you, like, as a single? You're, you're single. So, like, who were you drawn to physically the most? We have Lindsay. We have, we just talked about Well, the first here. person I was attracted to was Gabby. Um, you know, when she was a newbie as well. And, you know, Jules and I go way back, and we have more of a friendship than anything. So I don't know if, like, we would ever cross that line. Um, you don't think you would ever cross I that line? I don't think so. You don't think so? I don't think so, no. I mean, she's hot. She's beautiful. I mean, life happens. But I, when at the house, Gabrielle, I was like, oh, why haven't I met her in the modeling industry? Like, she's great. And I'm like, okay. Let me get to know her a little bit. And she's very family oriented, and I was starting to get to feel like, oh wow, you know, so am I. Okay, hey. And then she just said no. So, that so kinda... but then so then so Gabby's out, and so you're just looking around. So yeah, then I was like, all right, back to having just a great time, you know, still just cooking up a storm, and you know, just enjoying my happy go lucky self. <laughs> and then things develop between you and Lindsay. Yeah, and then I get to know Lindsay a little better, you know, and I have some sit downs, and we kind of you know conversate and. So what was it, like, what was the, I mean, you mentioned, like, Lindsay is a very confident, like, you mentioned that on, on air. So, yeah. like, I guess, is that part of the attraction? Was that part of the attraction? Uh, you know, the confidence is definitely one thing. You know, she's definitely driven and very passionate about her friends and her relationships. I, I found that very attractive as well. You know, I, I ride or die for my people. And, you know, she doesn't miss a beat. She's there for her people. And I was like, damn, well, this is great. This could be. This could work. Lindsay rides hard for her friends. Absolutely. So things happened, which we watched the show. The show happened, yeah. And then you know the show ends, and then you guys were dating for a, a minute. Yeah, we tried to give it a shot. We gave it a go. We, you know, we're both in the city. Why not? Like, how long were you basically trying to date? I'm just – because, I mean, like, we know, but, like, I'm just curious, like, what the timeline was. Was it, like, three days, four months? Like it's, cause it was, it's, like, a month. Okay. A month and a half. So then Summer House Seasons – yes? Yeah, yeah, about that. 